Johnny never came marching home again, but he did return. He arrived in a box with the star spangled and blood-striped flag draped with care. When Johnny didn't come marching home again, so long, so long, they gave him a funeral welcome then, so long, so long. It was a warrior's funeral, complete with a 21-gun salute, a lonesome rendition of caps, and a finely folded consolation flag, the same flag that came draped on Johnny's coffin. The boys held back tears, the men stood tall, the ladies, one by one they called. They mentioned Johnny's name on the news. They remembered his life and honored his memory. They said that they would always remember their hometown hero. They all felt the loss when Johnny didn't come marching home. Johnny didn't enlist to become a cog in the great war machine, but he knew the ultimate price might have to be paid when he raised his right hand and said, I, Johnny Citizen, do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, and that I will obey the orders of the President of the United States and the orders of the officers appointed over me according to the regulations in the Uniform Code of Military Justice, so help me God. When his country called, he did his duty. With a lump in his throat and with pride on his side, Johnny went off to fight. Let reverence and remembrance reign this day, so long, so long. Remember the ultimate sacrifices made, so long, so long. Johnny prayed. He prayed every day he awoke alive, and doubly so at night, to live to fight another day, so help him God. And God was there on Johnny's lips as he took his final breaths. So were the fading memories of home. So were mom and dad. So were brother and sister. So were friends and lovers. And so was this final scene. A warrior's funeral, complete with a 21-gun salute, a lonesome rendition of caps, and a finely folded consolation flag. This is what Johnny saw as he looked up at these foreign skies. He never asked why. He knew that this was his time. He knew that this was his duty. And Johnny said his last prayer and his final goodbyes. No fanfare. No fame, just another life given, a sacrifice made, and this deadly game named freedom. So we do our patriotic part, so long, so long, and be grateful and thankful for this warrior's heart, so long, so long, and remember the meaning of this day when all the Johnnies didn't come marching home. Thank you.